How to Trade Forex, Lecture 17. This lecture and the one before it were recorded over several days. They show how we look at the trading platform and make decisions using the tools that have been covered so far. It is now 8.38 in what's a very quiet trading period. Over the last eight trading days, the market hasn't moved by even 75 points on any of the days. And we're looking at the one minute chart. We can see on this that the price is currently towards the bottom, but still heading towards the bottom of the lower Bollinger Band. Flipping through, I would look at the five minutes, and there we sort of are hitting and going through the middle. We're at the green line, which is last night's opening price. So we return to that. On the 15 minute chart, we're towards the top. And on the 30 minute, we're towards the top. On the one hour, again, I'll hit the top and come off. And quite close to our 1.57, which is a whole number price. We can see that too. Four hours are in the middle. And on the day, right in the middle. And on the week, we can now see the two blue rectangles. We're looking at my rule of thirds. Next, I check out the forex climate. You can see here I'm looking at the one hour forex climate. The last signal was Friday. It's a red downward signal. Even though the trend of the candlesticks is currently up, and we can see towards the bottom right hand area of this chart that there may well be a crossover coming. So we may be due for another signal. So I look at the four hour forex climate chart. Uh, we can see that, in fact, that has an upward arrow, again, from Friday, early on Friday. Uh, and it, too, may be looking for a crossover. So a little bit confused on that. Looking at the one-day forex climate, uh, we've had a lot of signals on Friday. We're currently in an upward uh, directional signal. And the two lower uh, channels are not looking as if they're ready to cross at any time soon. So this is telling me that we are potentially in an area of change as far as the one hour chart is concerned, which is potentially confirmed by the four hour, but not the day. So it's not the strongest of signals. Now I check out forexfactory.com to see if there's any significant news coming up. And you can see towards the top third of the screen here, I've got Monday the 20th of August. The time is 8.57 a.m. That's my local time. And there is no news highlighted for anything in terms of red on the euro, the dollar, or the pound for today. But no news to take into account. In terms of using Jeff's lines and whole numbers for taking an overview of the market, you can see that we're very close to the opening price of last night at the green line. So we haven't breached either the 50 plus or the 50 minus line. It's just not giving us any great signal. We have not established for today yet a great directional trend. So that's not going to inform our conclusion on this matter a great deal. We've now looked at all of the factors that I take into account in deciding where in the trading environment we're starting for this session. My conclusion is that we're not being held particularly very strongly today. We're nowhere near having gone through Jeff's lines to give a, a strong directional travel indication. We have got some uh, help from the forex climate in telling us that we may be looking for another crossover and a change in direction from there. And there's no news to either help or hinder us to get in the way of things. So I'm clear really to just use for the moment the Bollinger Bands as my main trading tool until one of these other areas comes into a more helpful area. So we'll have a look now at an example of undertaking a Bollinger Band based trade. So we're looking at a one minute chart with the price near to the bottom and moving uh, now away from the bottom of the Bollinger Band and also towards the open price of the day. So if we just slowly watch what happens with this over the next few minutes we'll see if there's a, an opportunity to get a trade. Looking at the five minute chart, we've been to the top and we've bounced off, and we're nearly back to that central opening point. Uh, so we need just to slowly watch things and see where we're going with this. And here we're on the 15 minute chart, and we can see on that too, 
that we've actually uh, been to the top, we've come off, and we're bounded by this central line of the opening price of the day. So back to the one minute chart, it's moved on a little bit, and we again are still on downward candles, but I'm going to open a trade here in anticipation that it will turn around or bounce off that bottom that Bollinger Band. And there we have it, that trade is now in place. So note that things are not necessarily perfect, uh, but it's a good indicator of what's going to happen. And this is the point where you would start to panic, but if you actually look at what's happening, it's really just got to that bottom Bollinger Band. We pause it for a while, and now we come back, and we've got a positive candle, things are rising, uh, the panic is sort of over a little bit as our trade moves closer to being in profit and the next minute it gets closer to being in profit again and there we have it the profit uh, is now in place and bear in mind here that we're using one minute charts are uh, really I'd be looking for a bigger profit than this but it's just for a demonstration but the point is what I'm doing here works equally well let's take that profit equally well on the other time scales but of course the distances the size of the candles the value of the candles is much bigger in those circumstances and there it is we've now taken we're about to take the profit so we're now close to covering all of the techniques that we use in day-to-day -day trading.